All right, welcome back into Great Day Washington. It's now time for the Great Day Morning Mix. First of 2024, the college football playoff national title game is now set. Number one, Michigan will play number two, Washington in Houston next Monday night. But how did they get there? Yesterday, number one, Michigan took on number four, Alabama. While number two, Washington faced off against number three, Texas. We're going to start at the Rose Bowl, Michigan mm -hmm. and Alabama. This game had to go into overtime to be decided. It was a thriller. Michigan scored on its first possession to go up by seven. Alabama needed a touchdown to force double overtime, but Milrow ran right into the pack there. They were stuffed on fourth down and Michigan wins it 27 to 20. Then the Wolverines will face off against the Huskies in the national title game because Washington beat Texas mm -hmm. in a game that also came down to the final seconds. The Longhorns had a chance to tie the game and potentially win it with an extra point, but Washington's Oof. defense held on for the 37 to 31 win. OK, as we said, Michigan, Washington playing mm -hmm. next Monday, the national championship game in mm -hmm. Houston. I was at a table of like 17 Alabama fans. Oh, you know, wow. my <laughs> oldest goes to Alabama. Yeah, it's all very exciting and they couldn't get their offense going very well. And yeah. so we thought, well, this might be a runaway. Um, it was a thriller, though, right to the end. But then that last play call is just like Yes. What was that? My so. husband said that Michigan and Washington both deserved to win those games. Yeah. So he thought that, you know, the right teams move forward. I'm from Ohio and this year with Michigan has not been their no. most outstanding season. All the, si the sign calling, cheating scandal that's been surrounding them. I can't imagine how college football feels that they are going to the national championship game when it's this season. We've had such a negative spotlight on them. Yeah, I think but it might be fueling them. Exactly. A lot on. more people are interested in it probably. Yeah, yeah. So all right, we'll okay. see what happens next Monday. Had to say that fellow Buckeyes. <laughs> Anyone can now use the version of Mickey Mouse that is shown in Walt Disney's 1928 short film Steamboat Willie. Disney's copyright protection for that early version of Mickey expired on New Year's Day and it's now, believe it or not, in the public domain. U.S. copyright law allows a copyright to be held for 95 years. Now, the more modern versions of mm -hmm. Mickey Mouse will remain unaffected and they're still protected by Disney's copyright. And he has changed a lot. I mean, if you see his hands in that video right there, now he has those big white oversized gloves. Right big shoes it he doesn't look the same anymore well and now people can take like this clip or any clip yeah. from steamboat willie and use it in like an art project or something yeah. but they can't name a restaurant mickey mouse mm. like mickey mouse the name and then like yeah. you said the newer versions are still protected but you can yeah. use this version yeah. of mickey now i spent the holidays watching mickey and minnie mouse with of my course. daughter and it looks wildly different than steamboat willie right. so they've really progressed in the 95 movie. years parents yeah all right, 2023 was certainly Taylor Swift's <laughs> year, and she ended the year by breaking one more record. 1989, Taylor's version just gave Swift her 68th week atop the Billboard 200 album chart, passing Elvis Presley for the most weeks by a solo artist at number one. The Beatles hold the all-time record with 132 weeks <laughs> at number one. Are we really surprised? No. I mean, no. her re-recorded albums really helped her hit this yes. record because those have all made it to the top of the charts. I've been living under a rock for four months. I know everything that Taylor Swift, you can't not hear yeah. about Taylor Swift. I know, She's it's just everywhere. everywhere.